This will be the second instructional video for Master Guoling Ying's original Tai Chi, also known as Guan Ping Tai Chi. Yeah, in the last lesson, we learned the first two moves of the form, and I'll do an uh, uh, overview of that and demonstration. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the photos uh, that, out of his uh, book that he printed in Taiwan uh, of his uh, Tai Chi form and show the correlation between the moves that I'm teaching and uh, how it is in the book. You'll see they correspond um, pretty closely. So a quick review of what we did uh, in the last lesson, starting from attention, gathering your energy and your chi, emptying your mind, rotate the foot, just a hair under 45 degrees, lower your stance and raise the hand horizontal to shoulder level, form a circle, edge of the right hand touches the center of the left palm. That's right palm to ask you to come in through the center, and then reach out, form a T with the hands, back toe touches the ground, rock back, and lower the hands. Left hand is a little higher than the right, and now they're kind of pointing in the same direction off to 45 degrees. Step back, touch the toe. Now step out in a horse. Be sure to pivot this foot out so it's a T-L stance. And put the arms, the hands, the elbow stays same position and rotates forward. This is grass bird's tail, right and left, left and right side. And so we ended up here. So I'll do it one more time. And uh, this time I won't call it out, but I'll just do it like um, I'm showing. So we'll take uh, it from here. The next two moves will be single whip, uh, the transition, single whip, and then stroke cools wings. So from this uh, T stance on the 45 line with the pushing, and also um, I'm gonna, I'll get more into details in a little bit later lessons. Right, what I want to do, as I said in the last video, is create kind of a maybe a body of five or six moves that you can work with and then we go back over the details for each of the moves that you can kind of fine tune. So I'm, I don't want to get too much into the, all the fine details as we go because there's already there's so much for a beginner uh, to learn. So from this position here, you should be on the 45 line from uh, facing straight forward and pushing. And again, as uh, I talked about in uh, the three preliminary exercises, this right hand is a little more bent than the left hand, left arm, because in order to do the rot rotation from the waist, you have to kind of shorten these so that they're both on the same plane. Okay, so we end up here. And also on the final push, you should kind of arch your palm a little bit, so you're pushing with this part of your palm. So from here, you're going to rotate your foot straight forward here, and then step up. At the same time that you step up, the right hand, right arm goes out, shoulder level, and the fingers are relaxed. Remember, no pinching in single whip, just relax. And then the left palm will be facing your right shoulder. Okay. 
again from the grass bird tail push step up turn your foot first so then step up and right arm goes out shoulder level and is relaxed the palm faces the shoulder okay, one more time on is the transition before a single whip from here turn the foot step up transitional phase single whip you are going to go in this direction and stroke cool's wings will be going along this uh, line so 90 degrees from where you're facing so from this you're going to step out again into the T stance the horse and then uh, this left hand will rotate out and finish as you extend out both arms are shoulder level and shoulder level you don't want to like uh, use kind of control strength just relax and you want to um, have an easier time to memorize shoulder level just kind of expand out so it's like when you pull a string like a chalk line it goes straight out okay so again from the T stance on the 45 to push after grasp for tail pivot the foot step up right arm goes shoulder level with that hand left palm is facing your shoulder and then as you step out into the T stance the horse lower down and pivot from the elbow see how the elbow rotates so and then from here the fingertips will be straight up if you uh, I'll put a link but if you go to um, the video that talks about Pung, uh, which is like uh, pushing uh, expansion uh, energy. Uh, talk about single whip and the function of single whip in relationship to Pung. And I talk about uh, a lot of more of the details. But for now, just for learning the form, we're just going to do the moves as I'm showing you. Again, one more time from the push. Turn your foot straight forward, step up to the transitional pose. Right arm goes shoulder level, fingers relax. From here, again, just like uh, I show you, you have to kind of sink lower so that when you step out, there's not a lot of weight on your foot. Um, I, and I also told you that in the beginning, you could just kind of step out without worrying about that. Same for here from the transitional pose. For now, just to get the feeling of the move, go ahead and step right into the horse. But as you get uh, more progressed, it's better to lower your weight down so that as you touch your heel, um, you don't you're not like committed to weight on that foot in case somebody wants to sweep your foot. And again, the further out you want to step the lower you have to go on that support leg so that you're not putting weight on this foot. But for now, it's okay when you're just beginning to step out right into the horse. And then arm rotates. I'm going to show that more. Also, in the beginning, it's also fine to go from here, step out in a horse, and then do your arm rotation um, as you get a little bit more progressed then you can kind of combine the step out but again the, the final thing in the horse will always be before the final ending of the single whip so one more time from here this is the first uh, move we're learning today transitions and then single whip from here Pivot the foot, come up into this position, facing the shoulder, step out in the horse, and then rotate the arm and extend. So the timing of the 
uh, movement of the hand. The hand should rotate and finish facing out at the very end of things. Don't go rotate and then push and they'll go all the way out and then rotate. You want to time it so that as soon as your hand extends out, the palm is facing out. Also, uh, the instruction here. So for the transitional, step out into the horse, sink down into the horse, and then rotate. So you notice that the hand stays fairly straight in line, but it's also not terrible for him to turn go out a little bit. But I prefer, as I talked about Kung Fu principles, to keep it in a more direct line. So you have power for the pung. So timing and watch the elbow. The elbow kind of fixes in place as the hand rotates. Then it goes out and extends. So back to uh, this direction that it's in. From the push, step up, turn, transitional pose, step out into the horse, sink down, and rotate out. And this is called single whip. At the end of single whip, you want to sink down. Uh, remember I talked about in the three exercises, the elasticity of your horse is your power structure. So that push comes down through and root in your right leg. So you want to feel that. But for now, just to get the moves down from here, step, rotate your foot forward, step into the transitional pose, step out into a horse, and rotate your arm out. Sequence is one element of remembering the form and then the actual details of the form. So um, in practicing a form throughout your um, every day, it's not, you, you can like, you don't have to like set aside the whole time just to do the form and say, okay, now I'm going to do the form. Throughout the day, you can kind of practice this kind of like a, to remember the sequence of the move, and you don't have to do like full perfect form, but just to remember the sequence, so it's kind of uh, memorized and ingrained into your mind. You can just think about the sequence of the moves throughout the day. Just uh, pass, passing through, you stop you know, your workout area, and just do a few the four moves, so you remember that sequence. You know, once you get the sequence down, then you can work on the details. And that's really uh, a good way to uh, practice. So, okay, we're going from there into uh, Stoke Cool's Wings. So let's do it from the very beginning. So right palm to ask Buddha. Grass bird tail, right side. Grass bird tail, left side. Step up for the transitional pose, and then single whip. So we take it from here. After single whip, <coughs> I, I move so I could be more in center. Stokku's wings looks like this. This hand comes down with the palm facing down. At the same time, the right hand is going to come over the top of the head like a chop and the right elbow comes down and in this pose here and this pose here is kind of a lower down on the left right knee is bent on the toe and elbow is down palm straight in line with your nose and the left is by your hip with the palm facing down so again from here Looks like this. And also, 
it's very uh, it's a good idea to rotate your foot a little bit transfer your weight forward so that as you come forward you keep maintaining your balance as you end up in this position here don't have your elbow out too much you do it like this in it's about coming down with your elbow striking that. So from here, the single whip, and then from here, pivot a little bit, and push your weight forward over this leg so that you can transfer your weight. That. Do it from the side. Again, you don't have to drag all you do it from the Beginning, if you're working with just a portion of the move, you can kind of take it from uh, wherever you need. The transitional thing for a single whip is uh, good here because in that transitional thing, you can practice back and forth. This is kind of a supplemental exercise. So from here, going into short cool wings on the left side, pivot the foot, then left hand comes down by the hip, right comes overhead, and the elbow comes down. One more time. Here. And then pivot that foot, transfer the weight forward a little bit, and then, and also this foot, when it comes through, comes in straight through the center. I do the transition here, and then like that. And this foot is not like here, but it's kind of again, I always maintain sort of a shoulder width so you have more stability. So again, for the transitional here, pivot the foot into the transitional pose, step out into the horse, and then single whip. Stroke cool wings. Pivot the foot, come over the head here. And then the second part of stroke cool wings is come in, step to the side, and as you sink down, Left foot comes forward, right elbow goes out horizontally. From here, step to the right, foot comes in through the center, to the right, and then step forward with the left toe. At the same time, elbow finishes striking to the right. Here, Watch this hand come through the center. It's okay to do it like that. I like to come through the center always. Again, maintaining the same height. So I don't go up and down. Here. So we're going to do single whip and stork cool's wings from this direction so you see what it looks like uh, from the front. So from the grass bird tail push, pivot, the transitional pose, single whip, pivot the foot, transfer weight forward, and then stork cool's wings left side. And then stroke cool's wings right side. So one more time. From the push of grass bird tail, turn the foot forward, come up to the traditional pose. Step out in the horse, sink down into single whip. Pivot the foot, 
just kind of throw your weight forward and then come overhead onto the right toe. From here, come in, elbow goes to the right for the strike. In the fishing pose, this hand will be right about here. This is horizontal. So let me do it uh, from the beginning, all four moves together. And there we have it. Um, one note about uh, performing folk practice in the form is uh, a lot of people in trying to make it look smooth tend to um, flow from one move to another without actually kind of hesitating or stopping and showing the end of the move. So um, it's kind of generally what it would look like is you didn't do any of the stops And uh, the problem with that is you're not really um, completing the moves to their final extension. And um, even though you can throw from one move to another, then you're not really completing the entire move. And again, I always remind you that the Dalu, the form, is comprised of many individual moves. And so bringing together in too much flow kind of uh, destroys the emphasis on the moves being independent and as you uh, learn more about the Tai Chi then you want to kind of keep those moves independent so that you can move from one movement to another so okay I think that uh, will be our I'm trying to keep this lesson a little shorter that to be the lesson for today for single whip and stroke cool swing have any questions please leave them in the comments thank you